Welcome to Durango, Mexico. This is Eat by La Travel. I'm Jenny. And this is Kevin. And we are two Mexican Americans from Chicago traveling throughout Mexico in search of home and also enjoying the history, culture, and everything Mexico has to offer. Yep. These couple weeks, we're passing through Durango and staying for a little while to see what Durango has to offer. We've never really thought of Durango as a touristy place, and we've actually never considered it as a place to live. But now that we've been here a few days, we are pleasantly surprised. So why are we so impressed with Durango? Well, for starters, we didn't know much. Mm -hmm. So it's a pleasant surprise to get to know things and culture about Durango. Durango is special to us because we grew up in Cicero and there's a large population from people from Durango there. Cicero I'm is a southwest suburb of Chicago for those who don't know. So what we know about Durango based on our experiences from Chicago is that they make really good gorditas. <laughs> uh, more specifically, gorditas de chile pasado which we've had a lot in Chicago. Especially in Cicero, there's a restaurant called Gorditas Don Angel, which is famous for its gorditas de chile pasado. It's a dried chili. Also that they listen to Duranguense music. Or at least people from Durango in Chicago listen to Duranguense music, right? Right. And that they're really proud of their scorpions, their alacranes, which... Cristo le llama, niño. I think those guys are trying to give us something, something about Jesus. <laughs> Are you saying? <laughs> uh, I didn't know they were very <laughs> religious. <laughs> no, but uh, another thing from Durango that we know is that they're very powerful. Oh, they're scorpions or alacranes. Uh -huh. So we imagine Durango being a desert. Yep, we assumed that it was a desert, but if you can tell, there's lots of green behind us. We'll tell you where we are in a few. But first, I actually want to mention that Duranguense music was made in Chicago. It's not is, from Durango? It's, I mean, it's from Durango because people from Durango made it, but in Chicago. So can you say it's from Durango if it was made in Chicago? Yeah, probably not. It's from uh, Chicago. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> it's one of those Mexican-American music trends. Ah, if gotcha. you've never listened to Duranguense, here's a clip. That's crazy. I never knew that Duranguense was born in Chicago. I mean, I grew up with it like in middle school, high school. It was like all the rage. People dressed up in the boots, the hat, guayaberas. Yeah. Like it was such a strange thing. And then the dance. Can you demonstrate the dance for us real quick? It has changed. It was always really a good workout. I enjoyed dancing a lot of Duranguense music with all my friends from Durango. Uh, we used to go out to all these bailes and it was super cool. Of course, the popularity has died down a little bit, but it was such it a was, beautiful trend and such yeah. a good time. Yeah. Early to late 2000s. I would have never known. I would have never known though that it wasn't something that was from Mexico. So the people who created it is what you were telling me that they're Mexican Americans like us in Chicago. Uh, something so, like that. I would say Mexican Americans picked it up a little bit okay, more, but. Okay. Uh, there are migrants or immigrants from Durango. What were Durango. some of the groups? Montes de Durango, Alacranes Musical, <laughs> Capaz de la Sierra, Oh my god, I listened to all of those. Good, good times. Good it's one of those were like back in my day. We used to <laughs> listen to Duranguense music. <laughs> we need to bring it back. <laughs> but we haven't really heard it around here. Yeah, but, that's so true. Nor have we seen Gorditas de Chile Pasado. So, so we're already off to a wrong foot and a lot to learn and explore. <laughs> so in today's video, we're focusing on our first impressions and the pleasant surprises that we're finding here in Durango. First, it's that it's actually very, very green, or at least the city of Durango is. We learned that that desert area that we thought to be all of Durango is only in the eastern part of the state, but the central western part is very, very green, especially now during rainy season. It's gorgeous. That is like super impressive. We came here, we met one of my friend's uh, extended family members, and he's telling us about going to waterfalls, going to hikes, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, like what? burros, <laughs> yeah. you know? So it's beautiful. So the pine much. trees are humongous. We might not get the opportunity to go all the way out there, but getting the experience here in Durango is really cool because you can see the trees 
and the, the atmosphere around yes. here, which is, is really Speaking really cool. of which, the park that we're at right now is called Parque Guardiana, and it's the largest park in the city of Durango, and it's absolutely beautiful, family friendly. It's like a ton of dozens of parks all in one, and you've got different sports going on. There's, a, there's volleyball, there's fitness centers, there's running tracks, there's cycling tracks, there's Anything you can fountains. Think of, it's pretty much Literally, here. this park is so impressive, and I never would have thought for Durango to have something like this. It's just, I think, one of the best parks I've seen in Mexico. And we say that because we've been here every single day. We love it here so much. And we love parks, and we've been to parks probably in just about every city. So just comparing it to the other ones that we've been to, right. this one's really awesome. They even have a section of the park with world monuments like the Statue of Liberty, the Taj Mahal, Eiffel Tower, and Leaning Tower of Pisa. So Kevin did his 5k run, I did my power walk around the park, and now we get a special treat. I saw on Google Maps that there was this place that does ice cream inside a pan dulce, and I was like, what? My two favorite things. I had to try it. So here we are. It's a, it's a little food cart called Panet, Pancito Rellenos de Helado. Vanilla, kinder flavor, Milky Way, strawberry. More importantly, what are you choosing? Semita or concha? Concha, for sure. Once you've chosen your bread and your ice cream flavor, they'll press it like a panini to make a hot ice cream sandwich. Mmm, -hmm. it smells so good. You probably have to eat it fast. How is it on your teeth? It's not like too hot and then cold? Oh, it's dang. amazing. Yeah? Oh my god, this is so good. I can't believe I never thought of this before. It's genius. No, you haven't thought about sharing, fool. <laughs> Fine. Why don't we buy two? <laughs> we should have bought two, right? We'll come back for another one tomorrow. Mm. Isn't it so good? Yeah, we can have the one from tomorrow. No. We're still kind of like. Mind blown? I don't know. In heaven no. with this concha rellena. It was so good. Jesus, it's so good. Mexico, I love you. Just around the corner from the Panet ice cream slash pan dulce stand is the Escaleras de los Remedios. You see a mural behind me, but if you look up, you'll see an amazing mural all throughout the steps. How gorgeous is this? And an even better workout. Ready to go up? can do it not like that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding I lost count I don't remember how many steps there are but there's a lot and the view is not as impressive as it is from the bottom so <laughs> yeah I'm tired actually if you look up then the view is gorgeous equally gorgeous as from the bottom it is pretty gorgeous. Another thing that has really surprised us about Durango is their street burgers. Yeah, so many places have street burgers. Uh, here in Durango, almost every other corner down in Centro has one. But we found one on last Friday that was so good. What's so special about it is the brioche bread and this sauce. There's this secret sauce that they use that I, I, I don't know it's how to magical. describe it. It's just it's magical. magical. It's we'll show you. Good. But last week when we came, they were actually selling shrimp burgers here, so we came back to, to try one out now. Unfortunately, We that's... find out that they're only here once a month. I mean, these are still amazing. We're gonna show you these, but we're so bummed that we didn't take advantage of those shrimp burgers while they were here, you guys. These are some of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. That's why if you ever get the opportunity and you see something that you crave, try it because you never know, they might never be back. All right, let's go back for another concha con helado. <laughs> no, my burger. <laughs> After they toast the bread on the grill, they lather it up with that secret sauce. They add lettuce, jalapeno peppers, tomato, onions. In the meantime, they're cooking up the burger meat and the thick cuts of bacon. So this is known as the perestroika. Apparently legend goes that it looks like somebody's boot. I have no idea what that has to do with that strange word, but I can see how it looks like a boot. Maybe the sole of the boot. 
burger. But it's a burger in a hot dog bun. Two hot dog buns. <laughs> what am I eating? Mmm, that's Yeah? Mm-hmm. The sauce. Look I at just, this. I don't know what direction to eat it in. Look at this bad boy. Jeez. It's look, huge. Look, look, look at my the size of my hand. Covers the bottom. Forget your hand, it's the size bottom. of your head. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at this bad boy. This brioche bread and the sauce. The sauce. It's a secret sauce. Oh my. It's huge. Mm. Skip the lines in Centro. Make sure you come to El Gavilan right here, located in Gomez Palacio and Costa. You will not regret this bad boy. But one burger is good for the entire day. Honestly. We're going to walk it all off by exploring Paseo or Calle Constitución, which is a walking street here in Durango. We've heard that it's a must see both day and night. We're going to be checking it out at night for the first time. And from the sounds of it, I hear lots of music. So I think there's lots of bars and things. It looks like there's a lot of people too. It's only about three blocks away from our Airbnb. So our Airbnb was spot on where right where the centro historico starts location so, location look, location yeah let's go check it out oh there's a jaeger bar souvenir shop lots of lots of nightlife it's saturday tonight but we walked through here the other night on a weeknight and it was just as lively i mean a little less people but still lots of music lots of people hanging out no oh, it's fine no freaking way. What's that? It's a lollipop with a scorpion in it. Postre? I think I'm good. I'll have one. Seriously? Seriously. Okay. Which one do you want? You want yellow, orange. red, orange? Uh, maybe we should change the name of this channel from Eat While I Travel to the weird things that we eat while we travel. Mmm. Mm. No, it's just a regular piña. Flavor is it? Piña. Flavor is it? Piña. Tastes like? Alacran. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see when we get here. A live rock band sounds pretty cool there. There's a lot of people there. The beer house. Now the ultimate thing to like be really super surprised of Durango was to see if I was to hear a live salsa band right now. Game over. We're moving here. Somehow I kind of doubt that Durango doesn't quite strike me as a salsa kind of city. Mm. Vamos a la Plaza Constitución. I don't know, it gives me one of those vibes of uh, those little plazas that they have like at Disney World where they sell Mickey Mouse shirts. Except here it's all alacranes, scorpions. Uh oh. Maybe they have salsa here? Oh my god, it's Pancho Villa. He is alive. The, the conspiracy theory wasn't a, a fake. You know what's cool? The nightlife doesn't end at Paseo Constitucion, it continues into Plaza de Armas. Look at all the street vendors. Kids playing, people singing. What a beautiful Saturday night. How's that lollipop coming along? You we're taste, getting closer. You taste the scorpion yet? Uh, yeah, we're there almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> I say you just take a bite into it. <gasps> wait, 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 open your mouth. Let me see what's in your mouth. Yeah, look up. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, y'all, that brings us to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed sharing in first impressions of Durango with us. We're seriously super impressed with everything that this city has. Like we said in the beginning, we really had little to no idea and we're, you know, even though we had our preconceived notions of what we thought Durango was, it's just evidence that there's so much in Mexico and the world that we should explore with an open mind. By the way, I didn't like the Alacran at all. I'm gonna go to spit this bad boy out. <laughs>
Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao. Stay tuned for more fun and surprises in Durango coming soon. Bye. Bye.